Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we are going to solve this given equation. 36 power A minus 4 power B equals to 272. In other words, we are going to find the value of A and the value of B, where A and B are integers. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let's go ahead and get started with the solution and here's the very first thing we are going to do. Let's focus on this uh, 36. 36 could be written as 6 power 2. Likewise, let's focus on 4 and 4 could be written as 2 square. So therefore, this equation could be written as 6 square whole power a minus 2 square whole power b equal to 272 and now let's recall this power rule of exponents and here x power m and then power n could be written as x power m times n and this in turn could be written as x power n and then nested power m now if we compare these two terms and we can write as this. Therefore, we are going to apply this rule on these two terms. And this could be written as 6 power a whole square minus 2 power b whole square equal to 272. And now let's recall this famous identity a square minus b square. We are going to apply it on the left hand side. So this left hand side could be written as 6 power a minus 2 power b times 6 power a plus 2 power b equal to 272. And now let's focus on these two factors on the left hand side. This is the difference of two numbers and here the sum of these two numbers. So that means this factor is going to be the smaller one and this is going to be the larger one and both of these factors are going to be the even numbers. Just keep in your mind. And now let's focus on this number on the right hand side 272. The possible factors of this number are 1 times 272. The other possibility is 2 times 136. The next one is 4 times 68. Another possibility is 8 times 34 and the final one is going to be 16 times 17. Now we know that on the left hand side both of these factors are even number so therefore this uh, odd number is impossible likewise this odd number is impossible as well so therefore these both uh, possibilities are rejected now we are going to investigate these uh, three factors that means three different uh, scenarios and here's our case one when our these left hand side factors are equal to two times uh, 136 as you can see over here let me go ahead and equate these uh, factors so the smaller one this one 6 power a minus uh, 2 power b is going to be equal to this uh, 2 the smaller number on the right hand side and likewise this bigger number 6 power a plus uh, 2 power b equal to the bigger number 136 and now let's go ahead and add these two equations and here are our these two equations let's go ahead and add them if we add them they cancel each other out so we got 2 times 6 power a equals to 138 and now let's go ahead and divide both sides by 2 so that means we got 6 power a equal to 
69 and this equation tells us that a is not an integer so therefore we are going to reject this case one because our a and b must be integers so therefore this case has been rejected and here's our case two when our these uh, left hand side factors uh, are equal to 4 times 68 as you can see over here let's go ahead and equate uh, these uh, factors so the smaller one 6 power a minus uh, 2 power b equals to 4 and the bigger factor 6 power a plus uh, 2 power b equals to 68 now let's go ahead and add these two equations and here are our these two equations let's go ahead and add them this cancels out with this one so we ended up with a 2 times 6 power a equal to 72 let's go ahead and divide both side by 2 so therefore 6 power a turns out to be 30 6 and this 36 could be written as 6 power 2 so therefore we can write 6 power a equal to 6 power 2 and now we can see that our bases are same so therefore we can equate our exponents as well so therefore our a value turns out to be 2 now let's go ahead and find the b value now now let's go ahead and plug it in this a equals to 2 value in this uh, second equation wherever we see a I'm going to replace it by 2. So this equation then could be written as 6 power 2 plus 2 power b equal to 68. 6 power 2 is same as 36 plus 2 power b equal to 68. Now let's go ahead and subtract 36 from both sides. So we ended up with 2 power b equal to 32. And now 32 could be written as 2 power 5. So therefore 2 power b equals to 2 power 5. And now we can see that our bases are same on both sides. So therefore we can equate our exponents as well. So therefore our b value turns out to be equal to 5 and this is another value. So we got a equals to 2 and b equals to 5. So thus this is our one of the solutions a equals to 2 and b equals to 5. And here's our case uh, 3 when our these left hand side factors are equal to 8 times 34 as you can see over here now we are going to equate these factors on the right hand side as you can see over here now let's go ahead and add these two equations and here are our these two equations let's go ahead and add them they both cancel each other out so we ended up with the 2 times 6 power a equals to 42 let's go ahead and divide both side by 2 so therefore we got 6 power a equals to 21. Now if we look at this equation we can see that this a cannot be an integer. So therefore we are going to reject this case since uh, our a and b must be integers. So therefore we are going to reject this uh, scenario as well. So thus our only possible solution is a equals to 2 and b equals to 5. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.